Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moikens from Big Mountain Studio. If you're interested in iOS development, then subscribe and click on that bell icon and you'll get notified when I come out with new iOS tutorials. Do you have a blank launch screen in your app and you're not quite sure what to do with it? If so, then keep watching because this video will cover why iOS even has a launch screen and what Apple expects you to use it for. Then we'll update our app's launch screen to fulfill what Apple expects. Now before we get into it, let's update our task board here. For the itinerary app, we've already finished this feature right here. Now we're going to be creating a launch screen. We're almost done with this app, guys. Now what we're going to talk about is this launch screen. And Apple tells us a little bit about what they expect and what they want from the launch screen in the human interface guidelines. Now there's a lot of different points here that they cover, and you can read this on your own time, but I've summed it up for you. So here are some launch screen tips. So the launch screen is intended to enhance the perception of your app that it's fast and responsive. And when you first see that launch screen come up, no code is actually being run. So it won't do you any good to code that view controller, that launch screen, because realistically, your app hasn't really started yet. Now, one of the things that you can do though, you can add UI controls. And that works out well because Apple wants you to closely match your launch screen to look like the first screen that pops up that the users will see. It creates that nice transition from the launch screen to your, your first view controller or your first scene. And another recommendation is they encourage you to avoid text because the text can't be localized. It can't translate that text. Okay, so let's jump into our app and let's set up that launch screen. Okay, this is our launch screen. As you can see, it's completely white. And this is the first thing that people see when they launch your app. So for example, if we go to our app and we start it up, it's a white screen. And then it transitions to our first screen. So we want to be able to add something to this that will more easily transition to this first screen. And as you can see, this first screen, it's very subtle, but it does have a background color. You see, it's a little bit darker than this plain white right here. And it also has a darker header, which is our nav bar, right? So let's update some of these colors and maybe we can create a smoother transition from the launch screen to our first screen here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is set the background color to use our theme. And here it is right here, background. And it's very subtle. It's slightly darker, but it will make a difference. Okay, now what about that nav bar up top? Well, one of the things that you could do is you could add a UI view. And we could just stick it up top and then give it a color. I think it's using our accent, right? Yeah, maybe something like that, right? So then when we start it, it'll blend in more easily or transition more easily from the launch screen to our first screen. Okay, not bad. But the problem with this is using a UI view to represent this nav bar up here is you have to get the height just right. And it's going to change depending on the device that you use too. So that's not really a good solution. So what we're going to do is delete it. Instead, the best thing to do is to just use the same control that's being used on that first screen, which is a nav bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come here to embed and embed it in a navigation controller. So there's our navigation controller and here's our launch screen. And then we want to set up the design the same way that we have on our first screen. So our first screen is this trips view controller. So let's take a look at some of these properties here. Okay, we have the nav bar up here. So let's select it. And we see we're using the style of black. And for the color, you know, I think the color was set actually in the app delegate. Let me just double check here. Yeah, yeah, we set it right here. Okay, so there may be a problem with this because <laughs> I don't think this code gets run when the launch screen is first shown. We can try it, but you know, I'm almost like 90% sure that this code does not get run when the launch screen is shown. So let's go into our launch screen. And one of the properties that we can change from the app bar here was change this to black. Okay, and then let's run it. And like I said, I don't think it's going to change the color. I think we'll have to set that manually. Yeah, see, it's gray. But the good thing about this is we don't have to worry about the height anymore. You know, whether it's iPhone XS or we change it to iPhone 8 or it's a tablet, the nav bar is going to be the same all throughout the application. 
So that's fine. Okay, so what we do have to do is change the color. And you might think, oh, go to the background and change it. But what it really is, is the bar tint. Oh, like, let's go back into the app delegate. Yeah, right here, the bar tint color. That's the property you want to change. So we'll change that manually. And the bar tint right here, and we want the accent color. There we go. So it changes it to that dark green. So let's see how that looks. Okay, it shows the green, and looks like it gets a little bit darker. And I think I know what that is. I think it's this translucent property. Let's just double check. Let's go back here. We have that selected. Yeah, the translucent is unchecked. Yeah, that looks darker. Okay, that should do it. Let's run it, take a look. Yeah, so you notice that smooth transition? It looks like our app has actually started and it's just retrieving data and it's going to fill in the data with our trips. So that is actually a much better experience. And let's look at something else too. Let's close it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command T to slow down the animations. Or I can come up here and go to Debug and just click on Slow Animations here. And then when we start our screen, so that's our launch screen right there. And then it actually transitioned to our view controller. So it actually gives it this appearance that it's responsive, it's fast. Normally, <laughs> Normally it doesn't load that fast, but we just slowed down the animation. So let's take that off and look at it again. Yeah. So it's just a better user experience. Okay, now there's something else I want to do too. And that is I want to add a logo or an icon onto our launch screen when we start. So let's do that. It's going to be a UI image view. Okay. And let me look at our assets here. Okay, so I don't have the logo in here, but I have it on my desktop. So let's just drag it and add that in here to our assets. There we go. And it is a PDF. So I'm gonna set some properties here to preserve vector data and individual scales, it'll just be a single scale. Okay, let's go back into our launch storyboard and let's just set that logo. All right, good. This scale is messed up here. Let's just say uh, aspect fit. Okay, let's resize this. I'm going to make it 240 by 240. And then I'm going to center it in the screen. There we go. Okay, now this is going to make it look way different because when I start it up, there's no logo on the first screen on that trips view controller. So let's take a look at what it looks like here. Oh, this is a good point. What you notice is on that launch screen, we didn't see the new image here. And this happens a lot, actually. What I found is you need to shut down your simulator, you know, just command quit, and then start it up again. There we go. All right, great. So there's a logo on the launch screen, but not on the main screen or the starting screen. So I want to add this logo to the starting screen. That way the transition will look much better. So what I'll do here is I'll just copy this, go to our trips view controller, and we'll come to the view controller here and just paste it in there. And then we want to center it. There we go. And just for testing, I'm going to hold off on the data for now. So let me go into the data here. I'll go to the mock data, and this is where we populate our three trips. So I'm going to comment that out for now. And let's run it and see how it looks. Launch screen, first view controller. And you see how smooth that transition was? So it actually looks like I'm on the first view controller. And then that add button pops up and the navigation gets populated. Okay, great. So this is exactly what I'm looking for. It's a launch screen that makes my app look like it's responsive. It starts up quickly. And meanwhile, it might be getting data and then populating that later. Okay, that's it for this video. If you followed along and created that launch screen with me, then great job. This will give your users the impression that your app is fast and responsive. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider sharing it on social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to help out my channel, provide a translation for just the title and description in your own native language. 
And then that way, people who live in your country or speak your language will be able to find this video more easily. All right, thanks, guys, and keep climbing that big mountain to be a great developer.